Hello Tab Nation, it's your boy Tom, and today we're going to be doing another UIA video. I just did one recently, uh, just kind of like an introduction, how to get it, for a script, that kind of thing, and what it can do. Um, <clears throat> in that video, I show you how to get the uh, path for what you're going to be using a lot. Uh, just watch that video, I'm not going to go over that, I've already pre-got all those, because we're going to be talking about just kind of what you can do in Google Chrome. Obviously, you can use this in Edge, too, um, or other browsers, especially if they're Chromium-based. Um, but yeah, we're going to be using AutoHotKey version 2, so we got that here. Uh, any version's fine with me, I'm just, keep it simple, version 2.1, 2.2, that's what that plus symbol means. Just any version of 2. Next, we're going to be including our library, the UIA library, which, as you can see, I had the file path here. Uh, that's going to be different for you obviously so just make sure you change that and just in case you don't know what include means it's basically taking the code from that script and putting it right there so one line of code but this is actually technically i think it's around like maybe eighty thousand lines of code that's in this library so it's a pretty big script even though it looks very small um, that's the beautiful thing about using libraries um, yeah, so I got this website, uh, just a basic website I found um, <clears throat> that you can use uh, for testing purposes, so we're going to be using this. <clears throat> Alright, let's jump into that code now, shall we? So we're going to be using F1, obviously you do whatever you want um, with your hotkey, so when I push F1, it's going to trigger all this code. Uh, we're going to be storing a variable, which is just going to be tab. Uh, reason I'm doing that was uh, just to show you th that you can use auto hotkey with the UIA, so you can use normal code that you're used to and make it even more powerful by using this. Now, I've done videos in the past where I talk about a Chrome extension called uh, Auto Control Manager. This works way better than that, um, but it does require knowing how to code. The other one, you didn't really need to know how to code, so, you know, pick your uh, weapon of choice there. Um, obviously, I prefer this a little bit better, because uh, you get you uh, more flexibility. But the other one's great if you just need something easy and don't feel like coding. So right here, we're going to declare um, our uh, Chrome EL, and that's just this path right here. Uh, what this is doing is basically, from the handle of the tab is the name, so that way we can target uh, HTML form elements dash Google Chrome. So that's the name of the actual tab. That's the text you see up there. And uh, even though it might not always show it, but that Google Chrome is always there. So just make sure you put that there. And then we're going to be targeting the Chrome.exe. So actual Chrome. Obviously you can change this to like Edge.exe if you're using that instead. And then these can be changed to whatever, really, whatever you want it to be, as long as you're using it everywhere you're supposed to be in the same spot. So here we're going to be uh, calling upon uh, this. Um, so basically it's taking this and inserting it there. This is just a much cleaner way to do it. Uh, so we're going to be using element from path. Like I said in the previous video, I show you how to get this number right here, or this path, number, text, whatever. Uh, and then we want to change the value. Uh, so we want to change it to name, which is being stored up here as tab. Now if I had put, uh, let's say, quotations right there, then the value would be changed to actual name, N-A-M-E. But we want it to actually call a variable, so we're going to get rid of those uh, quotations. Um, pretty much is it for this script. So let's go ahead and run it and show it in action. Alright, that should be running now. We're going to go back to our browser and we're going to push F1. And as you see, it just changed that in a split second to say tab. Uh, so very easy, very simple, very powerful. And yeah. So let me close that script out. And we're going to jump to our second one, which has a lot more going on. So once again, we're going to be using uh, V2. Uh, auto hotkeys. We're calling our uh, path here. We're also going to be calling this here uh, UIA underscore browser dot AHK file. Uh, that comes included with the download, so we're just including both of those. Sometimes you need this, sometimes you don't. 
Uh, but basically, we're working with like 100,000 plus lines of code technically. So it's great that someone created this. Shout out to all the people involved in that. Um, so this is life changing. And I'm sure it did not take very, uh, or I'm sure it took a lot of effort and time. So that's great. Uh, basically, we're doing the same thing here. Our Chrome ELL, same thing here. Same website. Uh, we're not changing that up. Um, but we're going to be doing a few different things. We're going to be doing message box here. And the reason I want to do this is just show you that I can take something like this that I've already done. And basically, a dump is kind of just like grabbing the information. There's a few different ways to do that, but dump is one of them. But it's kind of cool that you can take this UIA code and put it inside of something like a message box or whatever. So you can embed it into other commands, which is very awesome. Uh, versus me having to have this as a line of code, put it, store it into a variable, and then call the message box. You know, it's 50% less of the code. Uh, so yeah, we're going to do that. Uh, I guess, let me run this. Actually, we'll, we'll, we'll run this one after I explain it all. How about that? That sounds better. So Chrome... We're going to be using um, the scroll into view and, sorry, my camera's messed up. Uh, scroll into view basically will scroll whatever I'm targeting here. We're using the same one from the previous video. Um, and for that, we're just going to be uh, saying basically scroll to this is visible. So that comment box that we used on the other one. Uh, Chrome uh, element from path once again. Got a different file path here. Uh, or path, and then that's going to be control click, and that's just going to basically do a click. Now, one thing I want to point out is because I put control click here, uh, a lot of you might be used to control click is able to click on windows and stuff in the background. Chrome does not allow that. It's a security feature, um, but this will still work, but it has to be uh, in focus. So I did this on purpose just so you know that like you still need to have the window in focus, which you can use auto hotkey commands like, uh, you know, if when not active, that kind of stuff uh, to get it back. So you should be fine regardless. So let's go ahead and do this one. We're running this script, I believe I said. Yep, F1. So we're gonna go ahead, come back here. And then, you know, here we can just type in whatever. We're going to go ahead and press F1. So there's our message box. Um, and as you can see, here's that text right there. Tab, oh, well, I guess our tab here was here. Um, so it's gathering that information. You can then use auto hotkeys to kind of sort through that however you want to get rid of all this other crap and then maybe make an if that, hey, if, if input box says this, do this instead. So you can kind of, you know, do whatever there. Um, but yeah, there's that. We're going to go ahead and push OK. Um, OK, I guess technically it did not scroll just now because it was already in focus. So let's try that again. Uh, let's, OK, that's out of focus now. Message box, OK. And there, it just instantly scrolled. I wouldn't even call it a scroll. It was more like a jump straight to where it needed. And it tries its best to center based off the uh, first part of the box here. That's really cool. That I like a lot. Um, but yeah, I mean, it works really good, really fast. Uh, what was that click for? Control click. I'm not sure what I'm targeting here. I'm not noticing. Let me... I think it's just... That box might not exist here, but anyway, it would control click to wherever I want it like that. Oh, that works. <clears throat> Alright, let's look at what we got going on in F2. And so this is another way I'm showing you how to gather information. Up here we did a dump. Uh, down here, that sounds so weird to say. <laughs> F2. Uh, we're going to be, you know, we got our thing here of what we're targeting. Uh, but we're going to be using the built-in uh, variable A underscore clipboard. And we're using the same thing here, but instead of uh, a dump, we're doing dot value. Uh, so kind of like what we did on the previous script, where we're changing the value, it equals something. Here, we just want to grab the value. Um, so we're going to do that. And 
So this is just a simpler way. Let's go ahead and do that. F2. We'll change the text up here so you just so you can see that it is different. F1. Here, what now? So there it goes. Once again, grabbed it. I uh, used it inside of a message box there, which is great. Uh, oh, no, wait. I pressed the wrong key. My bad. F2. So obviously, I'm going to go ahead and push Control V because it should be in my clipboard. So there we go. There we go. So that just goes into your clipboard. Obviously, you don't have to have it go into your clipboard. You can have it go, you know, pretty much wherever you want. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's look at F3 here. Once again, just calling this up. You don't have to do this every single time, obviously, just where you would need it. Uh, I'm just doing it because it shows you each segment of code and fully how it works. Um, so right here, we're going to be using, this is the reason we have that uh, includes browser thing here, because we do need that for this, uh, some of this. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to be using the browser function that comes with that include. We're calling it CUIA for Chrome. Uh, once again, you can change this to whatever you want, as long as it matches in each spot there that you see highlight it. Um, so here we're going to just be doing um, a click. So this is where you can do like find element. And we're doing the name is submit, so and it's a button. And we want to click that. So that is this one right here. Or no, submit. So that is submit. We want to click that. Uh, so it's called submit. It's a button. We click it. Uh, you can also do like uh, check boxes, radio buttons, stuff like that. Just change the type to match what it is, the name, and then you can just still do a click on it. Um, so that should be fine. But the last thing we want to do then is after we push that submit, let's add a sleep here just so we do see that one page uh, pump up. So we'll do 5,000 milliseconds, which is five seconds. Um, we'll wait five seconds and then we'll navigate. So that's the same thing, cuia.navigate and then whatever uh, website you want to go to. So we're just going to do youtube.com. Uh, let me reload that script since I made that change. All right, so this is F3. So here we are. We're going to go ahead and push F3. And it clicked that submit button, went to that page. It's now waiting about five seconds. And, okay, you can't see the URL. Okay, there we go. But it did put it in and went to you, uh, YouTube.com. So obviously there's a lot more options on here. Check out the GitHub uh, documentation. Um, in there you can also even go to like the Windows UIA uh, stuff but that's a little bit more complex to read and not specific to auto hotkeys uh, the, the github's pretty decent um, you got to explore it a little bit uh, to figure out what you want but there's definitely more options that I did not cover in here um, so yeah if you guys have any questions about this let me know in the comments below uh, this is my second video having to do with UIA let me know if there's something maybe you want to see me do on there. Another thing I want to point out real quick is if you go to my website, go to the FAQs tab. Under the uh, FAQs, I added a UI automation library tab uh, drop down. Uh, and right here, I'm basically trying to collect. If you guys know, you can comment below. What does UIA work with? So far, I've just only really put uh, Calculator, Notepad, and Spotify in there. Uh, obviously, I need to add Chrome because we just did it, um, but does not work with is the big one I'm really looking forward to. Are there any apps that you've tried this with and it just will not work? Or even if it does work, doesn't work, what are some tips that you had on, you know, hey, if you're trying to use it with this program, it has to be in window mode or something, for example. Let me know and hopefully we can compile a very nice list here. Uh, that way you guys don't have too much troubles on trying to figure out if you're doing something wrong or if it's just that it doesn't work or you have to do something special. So definitely please help me with this. Uh, it would be appreciated. Hit the subscribe button. Automation every week. Usually almost always in auto hotkeys, but we do expand from time to time. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Let me know what you guys want to see next. And yeah, bye.